was in Five Below the other day and came across a lot of stationery that looked very intriguing to me. I'm really shook and I have no self-control so I bought some stuff and I wanted to try it out on camera to see if it sucks or if it's good. I found these two sets of markers and I'm really stoked to try them. So this is gonna be a little more like vlog style. This is not gonna be super uh, polished and professional, but let's hit. I'm gonna start with the brush pens because uh, these are gonna be a little more difficult for me, I believe, because I've actually never, well, I've worked with brush pens, but not brush pens that are watercolor. So these are rainbow watercolor brush pens. So again, I've never worked with watercolor brush pens, but I'm stoked because if you watch my January plan with me, you would know that I really like using watercolor and it's something that I really got into in 2020. Shout out to quarantine. But my biggest qualm with using watercolor in my bullet journal is just what it does to the pages. Let's take a look at like my trackers that I did a terrible job and I didn't fill them all out. So if you look really closely, you can tell that like the pages almost look kind of warped. So like it doesn't bleed through. See, like you can't see. You can't see the paint over here, but it just kind of makes your pages a little like warped. I don't know a better way to say that from, from the water, like 100%. So that kind of annoys me and I'd like to find a way for that to like be avoided. Okay. Okay. That might be the worst I've ever written my name. Hmm. I feel like pigmentation is kind of lacking at some points. This green is also a lot lighter in color than I thought it would be. Not that that really means anything, but so, if you just like use like the least amount of pressure ever, I feel like um, it looks great and it's not like streaky at all. But like, if you try to have a hard downstroke, um, like in typical calligraphy, then that's where you're not getting the pigment. Okay. Oh, too much, too much. Okay, this is not, it's not going great at the moment. Let's try a different area. Now that there's plenty of water. Ooh. Okay, I'm not mad at this. I think you just kind of had to like get it going. This tip is also like nice and flimsy. Like you would want, like a paintbrush style. Like you would want it to be once it's like soaked with water. We're just gonna throw all the colors in here besides green and that fuchsia pink, which is terrible. It's not terrible. It's just like very highlighter-esque and um, it's not, not what I'm needing right now. My favorite part about watercolor is that you don't need to be precise whatsoever and you can finesse with something as much as you want pretty much. Even if it's dry, um, you can finesse with something and still move it around once you add water. For example, this terrible, terrible <laughs> flower I have just drawn that now has like five different colors. Although it looks terrible now, once it blends, it like usually pops and uh, doesn't look like shit anymore, pretty much. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna push. Okay, this is full, so it looks like the water stays stays in here. Uh, I guess until you empty it out. So, let's see some blend. Oh yeah. Okay, well this might still look like shit because I, uh, these are not good colors to blend. I just threw them all in there, but uh, you know.
I don't think this is gonna solve my warped paper problem because it's still adding like straight up water, you know, like it, cause it's still wet and it's gonna dry warped. However, it is still nice to be able to just like whip one of these out in the pen and it not be like a whole production to get out all my watercolor paints and make it into something. So here's my thoughts on these. Uh, they're five dollars. <laughs> so I'm not mad. I don't love them. I would not rebuy. I guess I also wanted to be able to like use these without the water and I just wouldn't because the pigment isn't good enough and um, like if you tried to use these as like regular brush pens or like to do to do like lettering and things, they're just not gonna perform the way that you want them to. But I would have 100% used them in like a, this type of setting where I could have just gotten this out really quick and filled out my mood for the day. And take into account too that I've never used like watercolor brush pens before. So <laughs> like just remember that also. But I don't know, I think I probably would give them like five or six out of 10. We'll do a six, six out of 10. Not horrible, not great. Uh, they're just, they're just kind of average. And that's my thoughts. So let's move on to the other ones. 12 vibrant illustration markers is what we got. Let's open these up. Let's see, so they are dual tipped. How do I get this open? Okay, that's like pretty thick. I mean, what's this look like? And then let's test. Oh, wait a minute though. Hold on. What, okay. This gives me a strong, like, almost Sharpie vibe. Grabbed a few other black markers because I just wanna like have a nice little like comparison situation. Um, might be hard to tell on camera, but this gives me like such strong Sharpie vibes. Uh, does it bleed? <gasps> Whoa, look, he bled through. And I am using the Amanda Reach Lee um, dotted notebook, which is 160. I don't know what the thing after that is. GSM, whatever it is about the thickness of the paper. I'm just gonna write my name every time like a narcissist because I wanna really like Super compare. Okay, I know I don't have the best lighting at the moment because um, I'm just like chilling and testing these, but Sharpie almost looks a little darker, but maybe not. Okay, let me do the calligraphy pen. Oh, I think I grabbed the one that's like basically dead that I really need to throw away. I'm gonna get a close up of this with my real camera for you guys because the phone is just not gonna do it justice. But my issue with the Crayola Tips Black is, it's not black to me. It's like a green black or almost gray. I was gonna say grayish, but that's probably not right. It's like a gray black to where it's like, it's not black black. It doesn't give me the payoff color wise that I really need it to. So like these markers like do not get used. I either use a Sharpie pen, a Micron, a, oh I could compare that to I have that. Micron pen. Well, I almost spelled my name wrong. That looks terrible. Um, I use something else that's got like a better black payoff than the Crayola tips, even when I'm coloring something in because I really hate them that much. I, I keep saying Crayola tips. I know it's Crayola super tips, but that's too much to say in my brain, I guess. But I love all the other colors so much. It's just the black that it, do, it doesn't hit, doesn't hit. Okay, let me test some more colors. Yeah, interesting. It glides really nicely too, like, um, I feel like Sharpies are like, sometimes a little tough, maybe like writing wise where they just feel so stiff in a way, but these are really, really smooth. Next color, we have a green. So this pack actually has two greens. Pretty cool, we love to see it. <gasps> okay. 
Yeah, okay, these are, it's, I would definitely give this a Sharpie. Okay, but it is bleeding through. So that's interesting because Sharpies don't bleed through. So like here's the Sharpie and there's nothing on their side. We'll do it over here. Okay, nothing on the other side up here, but you see all the places that the new markers have bled through. Like I was saying, this is definitely like, especially this, beauty guru, this tip side is much more bendable, flimsy. I don't know the correct adjective, but more so than a Sharpie. I almost feel like you could do calligraphy with these. I think the fine tip, come on. I think the fine tip is not as, as bendable, easy to work with, but still glides really nice. So, my thoughts on these. I would love them, love them, if they didn't bleed through my pages. And see that gold is like almost kind of bled through. I mean, it did bleed through all the way onto another sheet. If they didn't bleed, I would give them a nine out of 10. Really like them, I like the colors. I like the fat tip side better, but I do like that the fine tip is also available. Again, they're five bucks. So, and you get two sides, but they bleed through. With that being said, I do feel like I could still use them in my bullet journal. It would just have to be on top of something else. So like sometimes I'll put like extra craft paper into my bullet journal and then right on top of that or construction paper or cardstock or whatever it is I'm using. I think I could use these on a different medium other than this specific paper and then paste it into here. But knowing me, I'm not gonna directly use them in here because it bleeds through. I'm going to give these a 7.5 out of 10. Yep, that's what I'm sticking with. Nope, no, nope. we're gonna give them an eight because I gave the other ones a six and these are so much better than those. If you get them, just know that they're probably gonna bleed through whatever you're doing. Anyways, okay, so that's, uh, that's all I got today. I had fun. I really kind of like doing videos this way because it's not so much work and effort and not, I don't feel so pressured to like everything needs to look perfect. But let me know what you guys thought and let me know if you found anything if I blew that you really want me to test out or just if you found anything good. I'm gonna go back soon and hopefully they'll have restocked because they still had quite a few things that I wanted to test. But that's all I got. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and watching and definitely go over to my Instagram with Janae, scribbles and spreads, and I'll see you guys soon with my March plan with me. Bye.